Ну да. All they said was that they were delivering it early today. Because you missed the delivery time yesterday because it was like after. Well, hopefully you will get it soon. Yes. That's extremely good shot. I am just very, very, very fucking scared to do anything, to be fair. Uh, so it's like all the time I keep thinking, what if, uh, you know, something happens, we die, and then we have to start from the very beginning. That is something I'm really scared. Because, like, we have now gone through so big areas here, so I'm very worried of dying. It kind of makes me think I should probably save up. Probably. Nope. <laughs> No hugs for you. Ah, <sighs> yeah, exactly what I was afraid of. I don't think there is anything else. Damn it. But yeah. I think, I think we have gone through by all the damn walls mostly. There is a saving place up there, but we could also say it's just uh, here. Unless if I went to this here. Hi Horrid Spore, how are you today? Well, yeah, lovely. How is your morning? Hope you're well and good health. You're okay, nothing special. So it's not morning anymore, it's uh, almost 4 p.m. But yeah, how are you today? and go to the teleporter and possibly save up there so there was one vinyl on the ground over there yes. okay one vinyl how many i have here One, two, three. We should save up in that case. You will just swing by. So, quick question if you were blind, how would you ask for water? Just ask for water, just like everyone else as well. Happy to hear you well. Yes? Knew you were gonna get it right. Now I'm questioning how other people have answered on that. Confused noises. Very confused noises. Right? Was it here? I think it was here. Stranger note. I'm so glad me and Ezra decided to book a stay at the Master's Mansion. God, I had no idea this place would be so big. I'm very excited to be initiated on the, his program. Our friends and family kept trying to tell us that it was a cult, but this is nothing like a cult. The brochure labeled it as, as a spiritual retreat, where one can go to in touch with their true self, to reach total self-actualization. So far we have been received with open arms by the program members. I can't wait to finally meet the master. I hope we can 
speaks of her long lances and has true secrets to anti aging. You really want to know. Well, some do Manchester, and some start to stroll or ride out. I'm going to do something. So, Ezra and I have been exploring the mansion throughout the day, and we noticed something odd. The entire interior of the mansion uses gas lamps as its primary light source, not a single electric bulb inside. This means at night the mansion tends to be very dark. So up to that, there were certain areas of the mansion that were strictly off limits to us. I guess that's not so strange, anyone with home this big is bound to have a room or two reserved for privacy. Ezra is starting to get a little spooked, but I think she is just homesick. And the dark nights are getting to her. Tomorrow I might ask one of the initiatives if there is any way we can get some additional light in our room. Day 3. So I think we might decide to cut our stay short. Ezra seems very uncomfortable here. We split out earlier to go walk around the mansion grounds, and when I found her again, she was ranting about seeing some kind of monster in the woods, simply out of her mind with fear. To my surprise, the senior program members reprimanded her harshly for exploring the outlying premises without one of them to chaperone her and yelled at her to never do it again. My feeling about this place are starting to change, and I have yet to see any hint of the master around. Day 4. We were just getting ready to leave when the master summoned an emergency gathering at the church on the hill. As I write this, I hear the bell tolling in the distance. We have everything packed, but we came all this way to see the master, to learn of his incredible knowledge. I can hear them knocking outside our door, insisting I come with them, and I can't seem to find Ezra. She's been missing since this morning. I like this music. Same. It is. As calming as it can be here, I think. Why I have a feeling that this is a trigger. So we found, I think, another part of a moon or something. Yes, I think it is. But a ceramical featuring that looks like a neighbor moon. Hmm. <clears throat> we might need it. We have explored most of the things on the there. Most of them. Oh yeah, there is the big room still. Okay. I know where we should supposed to go. If you could talk to anyone in history, who would it be? Uh, that's a hard question. I need to think about that. To be fair, I would probably want to talk to one of the old leaders, you know, the crazy ones. Just to, you know, get into their head, try to understand why, what lead them to that kind of decisions and so on. I think I would want to talk to like, well, one of people like that. Mm. Mm. 
The crazy ones, yeah. The crazy dictators and such. Because, you know... We can only assume why and what led us to them do what they did. But it would be really, really, really interesting to actually get to talk to them. To, you know, ask it straightly. Why did you do it? Kind of thing. Same with the... Like, um... Might be interesting, but surely depressive AF also. True, true. The coldest. Can I take the shiny thing? Avatar, how are you today? Yeah, I do think it's uh, quite a Resident Evil mm, co a clone or something. Or somebody said it's a tribute for Resident Evil games. Can we kill it from the others? Apparently we can kill it from the other. Okay, that's awesome. Let's hope it stays dead. Let's hope. This more Resident Evil clones existent. Hmm. The player mode looks good. The hunt is quite available though. The way it started the... What the fuck it's called? <sighs> Damn it. Like the inventory management. It's so small, but how it started with only two inventory slots, that was not great, not great at all. It made me dislike it, but little by little, I'm definitely liking it. There are still minor things that bother me, like I do not personally like the portal system, yet at least. But overall, like, it's a pretty damn good game, I would say. Not bad. You get to take both of your night classmates today, the ones that make you feel nice and the ones that make you sleepy. I think today is gonna be rare. Oh dear. So I hope you're gonna get some nice sleep. Well, fuck you too! Fucking hell. the stuff that we can open. Yoinks, okay. Um, okay, I don't care. Now I'm starting to find a lot of saving place. I arrived at the mansion last night, late last night, along with two others, first members from the program, a man named Robert and his wife Ezra. They seemed just as excited as I was to be there. To see for ourselves the miracles this master speaks of. So far I have not seen hide nor hair of him, although I have seen quite a few painted portraits of him, which I must say are quite a ghastly, as well other macabre paintings that are not pleasant to the eye. To add to the list of peculiarities, it is the fact that Manson seems to be stuck in the early 9000s. No electric light, gas ranges and lamps. I hear this man is very old, however. Perhaps he prefers not Shelby's era to the modern one. How's the story so far? It keeps jumping, I would say. Like the way it started. Uh, they explained how we got into this place. A bit the 
kind of intro type of a thing and I missed it on the first time when I opened the game because it bugged out. Second time I did saw it and they changed the drawing style of it like three times. How they told the story in it. And so that was... Not so sure about it, how did I like it. Um, but other than that, the story has been quite interesting. Then there is, of course, like... Um, Well, most of the story is stuck on the letters that we found from the crown. We did found another survival who we have not seen ever since, so I'm not sure where the fuck did he go. So we are kind of missing that dude still. Possibly we'll find him later on, possibly. We'll see, we'll see. Also, I hate that tactic, um, so after I aim and shoot something, I cannot for a moment move. It is impossible to move for a moment after you have shot something. So it, it is terrifying because sometimes you kind of like get fucked over. Because you are stuck in the animation of your character trying to, you know, move again after shooting something. Making pizza. Everything is coming up to me today. Ooh, what kind of pizza? Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Also, I love it that I have this much shotgun ammo at the moment. Ooh, hello to you too. Red sauces and pepperoni. Ooh. Wait, we are back at here. You unlocked it. Okay. That is the another place where we can finally go. Your favorite brand of frozen pizza. I'm gonna go to the save room, catch the item. Go back to portal. Then I'm kind of tempted. Should I save or should I not? It is. <sighs> it is, you know. We have only certain amount of saving places. So it's all the time me thinking. Is now a good moment to save? Or is it bad moment to save? Should I not or should I? You got the Sam's Club membership. So you buy them. Both. Because you figured. If you like them, why not? Because it, it can be boss fight, and if it's boss fight, we will go backwards quite a big time. But if it's not a boss fight... Oof. Then it's just wasted. A saving place. That is stressing me out so fucking bad. Is it really worth saving up yet? Is it not? Should we or should we not? And all that. Mm -hmm. Well, I should have definitely at least dropped the thing. Damn it. Why am I like this? What's supposed to I need bigger inventory. Way bigger. So it's pretty frustrating. But there are things that are like really cool. As I said, the game itself looks good. And the music has been nice. No complaints on that one either. Uh, I definitely look like love the look of this place. It was so big Resident Evil wipes. Uh, shotgun, it works well, but it just feels wrong. Like it, it doesn't feel like other shotguns in other, pretty much any other game. It just feels weird. Really hard to explain, but it feels weird.
evening and bye bye <clears throat>
Like only when you are stuck in the work, they are like, oh, please love me, be my friend. And then when you are not working, they are just like, eh, no, that's me. Me. Sounds like no better as well. Hmm. So one is locked on the other side. I'm not surprised. And have this. The prettiest and most kind cat ever. This one is open, but I don't still know how do we do this. Because we tried to stab it, we have tried to shoot it, but nothing seems to work on that one. So if somebody has idea how to, I would love to hear. Also, is it you or is the stream lagging? Is it lagging? The diva, yes, that is the cat name, would like to respectfully disagree. <laughs> Uh, we used to have the one uh, Princess Diana. Well, she was Diana, but or Diana, but she acted like a prince, a princess most of the time. That's fine for you. Okay, that's good to hear. How can anyone have the bestest and cutest cat ever? Someone must be lying. Or maybe all cats are one cat. Could be that too. They all are right. Mm -hmm. no, being 100% honest. Sus. 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 Just to be fair now, when you think of it, have you ever seen all the cats in the same place? All of those nice cats in the same place? Yeah, this one has to be dropped down. Like, it just looks like it will get to somewhere through that if we manage to drop it down. But I don't know how do we do it. So if somebody has idea for it, would love to hear it. And then the next place... Doo -doo -doo. Can't go. It's like my parents think they're monster children behaving nicely, and everyone else kids are badly raised. 